these are the formulas right here that he has handwritten for each, every color. Los colores de la tarjeta, sí. The colors that he that are written here that have a number are in this in these folders. So these are like I'll give them a color. I'll give them a color. Um, uh, Pantone, maybe it'll be a little Pantone, but I'll give them a group of colors that we're going to use for a season, like fall 2017, which we're getting ready to do. And I'll say, here's our colors. And we look them up on Pantones, and I give them a little color. Then he looks to find that color. Then he finds the formula. And then we have this here. So I can now, at this point, we have so many colors that I can go back and go, let's use this one, you know, for the season. Yeah. So. And they're different formulas. You have to, if it's 100% cotton, it's one formula. If it's rayon, rayon takes yellow, completely different. Ah. If it's rayon, it's a different formula. If it's linen, it's a different formula. So that's something to bear in mind. This color. So, now, yeah. how, See, how do you pick so your colors? How do you pick your colors? I'll, you I'll talk about that when I get to the design part. So, so you see he's, make, he's taking the little thing, and you see he's measuring out on a gram scale. You guys can get over there. So it's a very tiny amount of dye that it, it takes to make like a whole picture, uh, you know, that, that much of color. And, you know, and he's kind of measuring, it's like, it's not measuring, he kind of like, it's down to really small grams and half grams. Ese agua es puro agua o tiene agua? No, it's only one. This is only, just plain old water right here. It's only what? Just water. This is all this is, is water in this bucket. for fatigue or for any other reason, you need something for it to fix, to, to stay in the fabric and not wash out. And so typically you'll use, I don't even know the word in English, bicarbonate of soda maybe, carbonato we call it here. But we wash all of our fabrics in that first to get our fabrics pre-shrunk, to get them all ready to go. And so our fabric has the carbonato already in it when it goes out. So in here, we just put the color in the water and it's ready to go and we don't have any carbonato in the dye, so, so yeah, there you go. Oh uh, yeah, so if we're gonna stamp it, you see how liquid that is? Yeah. If we paint that, it's gonna just run, which is something I did for years and years and years. You know, I figured out how for it to run, how I wanted it to thing, and of course we put wax on to keep it in one space. So, but over the last few years, we figured out that if we put, it's like algae. you let it sit up it'll get thicker so that won't run all over Whoa. the place and we can put that in a tray put a mold on it stamp it in take it over and stamp it on the fabric like a wood block and stamp the guys and it'll stay in place <laughs> and so the dyes are toxic in powder form breathing the dyes is toxic um, you know, to do every day, every day, every day. I'm sorry, like, not, right, not right this second. It's just, ah. Uh, uh, but at all, a momento. It's like, in, not in one minute, but for, for him to be working every single day yeah. in his dyes. But once, and they're also toxic to absorb into your skin if you, you know, sticking your hand in and get dyes on your hand all the time, which is why we have everyone wear gloves and be protected. But after the dyes have set for, I think it's six hours, and smoke, that's most of them. Some colors have a little bit longer lifespan. They become inert substances, and they're no longer toxic you know, at that point. But the worst time is when they're in powder, which is why he always wears the respiratory, you know, mask. But not just a little paper one, but a really good one, you know. Yeah. So okay.